All right, today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at this. This is the Nintendo Switch pinball cabinet from Tulsa Arcades. And as the name suggests, this is a miniature little pinball cabinet designed to house your Nintendo Switch and play your Nintendo Switch pinball games. So very cool idea. Obviously, if you're a pinball freak, pinball fanatic like myself, this is gonna be something right up your alley. This is their first design iteration, first uh, attempt at their pinball cabinet. They've already told me that they've got some other ideas in the works. So. Uh, a revised edition later on that has maybe a light up back box added to it and additionally right now one of the key things you'll notice for this first attempt design so to speak the 1.0 is we have a USB-C cable sticking out this allows us to plug into the Nintendo Switch but this runs into the inside of the little device and connects up to a USB encoder that allows us to use these arcade buttons with the Nintendo Switch now this is a little bit of an unsightly eyesore. Obviously it sticks out. Um, they did have notches right here, so I didn't have to like poke holes in it or anything like that. But they already told me that, yeah, they, they don't like that either. And they've got a revision in the work that allows them to hide and conceal this cable inside the housing of the pinball cabinet. So if you absolutely hate that look, don't worry. They've got a different option for you. And speaking of options, this thing has a lot of options you can choose on their website, a la carte pricing type of thing, which is great because that means you're not forced to buy things you don't want to get. So as you can tell right here, we got some beautiful chrome T molding. If you don't like chrome, they've got red and black options as well. Um, the graphics, again, also completely optional. You don't have to get the graphics. You can get this basic Tulsa Arcades graphic. You can get some other custom graphics, Jurassic Park, The Simpsons, Back to the Future, or your own custom images. So if you're good with Photoshop or something like that, and you can work out your own custom images, send them the file, they'll print it, they'll stick it on there. You can also get this thing completely pre-assembled so it shows up like this out of the box. You'll just have to add your own USB encoder and buttons and your cable connected that way or you can order it flat packed and build it yourself, save some money that way, completely optional. You do whatever works best for your budget. You can use the promo code COOLTOY and save 10% off your order, or you can not use the promo code and pay full price, completely up to you. Don't worry, I don't get any kickbacks if you use my promo code, I'm just trying to help you save a little money. So do whatever you feel is best for your budget. But as far as how this plays and how this works, let me show you, like I said, as I mentioned, you'll need a USB A female to USB C cable. This is easily found on Amazon. I'll put a product link down in the video description box below, but you'll need one of these. You'll need a specific Nintendo Switch USB encoder. That's what it shows up, comes with a cable. Just plug in the cable that way. Get your USB in there. It's gonna plug into there. This is gonna go inside your USB C port on your Nintendo Switch. And of course you would just hook up your connecting wires and then connect these ends to your buttons. Now, key thing to know is these buttons, you are not gonna be able to use long stem arcade buttons on this. So you'll have to have very short stem buttons. You can use LED buttons that light up if you want, but keep in mind these encoders and everything, it's gonna be running and powered off the Nintendo Switch itself. So if you put in light up LED buttons, you're basically just gonna drain the Nintendo Switch's internal battery twice as fast. So I wouldn't advise it, but make sure you get short buttons. I'll put a product link down in the video description box below. Some I found on Amazon that'll probably work well for you. Or you can just go to places like Paradise Arcade Shop or um, a lot of other online retailers that sell arcade buttons. Just like I said, make sure you get the short stem and not the long stem because there's not enough room inside this housing to get long stem buttons. But like I said, very simple connection. Just put this inside the cabinet, connect the cables, wire it up. Uh, the bottom of the USB encoder will tell you what buttons are what, so you don't really have to guess at what's A, what's X, what's L, what's R, that type of thing. It tells you on the bottom of the encoder, so connecting that is very simple. Size-wise, it's got a very small footprint. So it's about nine inches long. At the tallest point, it's about four and three quarter inches tall, and then right at about five and a half inches wide. So pretty small, very easy to just sit it on a shelf, sit it on a desktop, anything like that. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Like I said, fits like a glove for the Nintendo Switch. And the gameplay is very simple. Like I said, got my USB encoder, just using the buttons, controlling my flipper, plunger. I can nudge the table if I want. So it, it's, it's great. I mean, this is the way pinball is meant to be played, vertically. And I like the aesthetic of it. 
Uh, I like the, the T molding, that's a nice touch. Again, if you don't like chrome, you can go to the different other options, red or black, or just no T molding, period. Completely up to you. That's the great thing about the a la carte pricing is if you don't like something, you don't have to buy it. So choose whatever works best for you. And if you're interested in picking up one of these, I'll put a product link in the video description box below directly to Tulsa Arcades. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.